Yes, you can call this Mentos 101 if you want, guys. What's really going on when you drop the Mentos right here into the Coke bottle? Well, first, let's talk about what's inside that Coke. It's not just a liquid, remember. What's in there, it's been injected with tons of carbon dioxide. You see all those little particles in there? They're trapped in the liquid, and they'd really like to get out. One way that they can get out is to form bubbles. Well, when you put the Mentos in there, you think of them as a nice, smooth surface. No problem, it's just a smooth candy. Right? Well, if you took a microscope on it, it looks more like a Thomas's English muffin. It's got all the nooks and crannies in there. Those nooks and crannies, those are perfect little areas for the carbon dioxide to grab onto and form little bubbles. So when that happens, you form all those little bubbles. There they go. They're globbing onto it. Bubbles take up space. They make pressure, and all that pressure pushes in all directions. Well, there's a narrow opening, so all that pushing, it gets shoved in the same direction, and there you go. You have a nice little eruption as it were. Now, as far as Diet Coke, why is it better? Well, the Diet Coke is just a little bit easier to let that liquid go in all places because of the aspartame. So there you go.